Well, what do you think of our rocket ship? Cool! It looks simply awesome! Now, let's go into space! Wait, in order to get into space, we first need to get to the launch site. This is a place where the spacecraft are launched into space. Let's load our rocket ship onto the transport vehicle. And drive it to the launch pad. start right onto the planned trajectory. It will be held up by support trusses. Now it seems everything is ready. And now can we fly into space? Not quite yet. The rocket ship won't fly without fuel. Oh yes! But how does the rocket soar upwards? It is pushed upward by the reactive force. Here's how the rocket engine works. The fuel enters the combustion chamber through pipes. Here, the fuel reacts and burns. When it burns, a gas forms, which at high speed escapes from the nozzle and creates a jet. This exhaust stream pushes the rocket in the opposite direction. Oh! Exhaust stream escapes from the nozzles downward. Therefore, the rocket flies upward. Exactly. Look, the locomotives have already brought us tank cars full of fuel and an oxidizer. What is the fuel and what is an oxidizer? Fuel is a substance that burns. In our case, this substance is kerosene. And the oxidizer is a substance without which combustion is impossible. For our rocket ship, the oxidizer is liquid oxygen. It is denoted by the symbol O2. In space, there is no air, so you have to carry oxygen with you from Earth. Now, the umbilical mast will fill each stage of the rocket with fuel.
Let's begin the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Lift off! system has separated. The engines of the first stage have shut down. The first stage has separated. The interstage panels have separated. The second stage has separated. The engines of the service module have started. The third stage has separated. The solar panels have been deployed. Correction engines have been started. Attention! Information for the astronauts on board. The manned spacecraft Vizyaka Vizyaka has achieved orbit as an artificial satellite of planet Earth. We congratulate all the crew members. You are located 400 kilometers above sea level and are orbiting the Earth for the period of 90 minutes. Course correction engines are working in automatic mode. The solar panels are deployed. The life support system is functioning properly. The coordinates of your location are 50 degrees south latitude by 179 degrees east longitude. Well, now we can rest a little and enjoy the view from the observation windows and onboard cameras. The Earth looks so beautiful. So many stars are visible. Yes, that's because the atmosphere doesn't block the star's light up here. shaped like a big boot. Oh look, the sun is rising. Yes, orbital sunrise is an amazing sight. And now we are already over Northwest Russia and can see the Arctic. Where are the northern lights? 
At the moment, they are hard to see because the Earth's atmosphere is lit up. Since it is summer in the Northern Hemisphere and the land above the Arctic Circle is in perpetual daylight, there the sun simply doesn't set for a full six months. Look, this is how transition between day and night occurs. On the illuminated side of the Earth, it's daytime, while on the dark side of the planet, where the sunlight cannot get, it's nighttime. On the border between darkness and light, it's either evening or morning. Computer, change our course so that it's along the equator. I'm so light up here. I can float and do all kinds of tricks. It only takes a little push to get started. This is zero gravity, which is normal when in orbit. Well, astronauts, are you hungry? How about some lunch? And what is there for lunch? Astronaut food, mm -hmm. tubes with different purees. And what do we have here? Apple juice? Hey juice, where are you going? Get back in the bottle! No problem, now catch those balls of juice with your mouth. What a funny bubble of water! Notice how water and any other liquid behaves in weightlessness. After vibration stops, the liquid turns into a perfect sphere. Well, children, now it's time to return to Earth. Everybody back to your seats and prepare for re-entry. In five minutes, we will commence separation from the service module and begin our descent from orbit. back to Earth according to the previously calculated trajectory. The spacecraft enters the atmosphere at such high speeds that the air around it is heated and turns into a fiery plasma. By the way, the temperature outside of the spacecraft is double that of volcanic lava.
Look, a rescue tugboat is approaching us. It received signals from the Mission Control Center about our location. They'll be picking us up now. Congratulations on your safe return to Earth. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you again for more exciting adventures on our channel.